And so I ended up on the streets for about three and a half months. About three and a half months. About three and a half months. Must tree. It's the greatest place on earth. I'd come to a stage in my life. I'd lost my mum, my dad, my older brother Keith, who I was uh, double close to, who was one of my heroes. You know, growing up, um, a, a dear friend of mine of 35 years lost his life in a hit and run. And then to cap it off, um, on December the 25th. I split up with a long time girlfriend with two kids. At that time, as a family, we were in homeless accommodation due to a previous house fire. And so effectively, when we split up, I became a single man, so I had to leave the property uh, that day. Uh, and I was already in a state due to the bereavements and a lot of other things and the use of alcohol and certain drugs. And so I basically, within a couple of days, I was on the streets, I stashed some of my valuables, my, my stereo, my, my albums somewhere and the rest of it just got lost. Um, I was one of the lucky ones I think because I ended up in a, in a hostel in Longside and the hostel was one of the better hostels because su some of the hostels around here, even some of the family hostels are absolutely cockroach ridden rat traps seriously. workers said to me, right Graham, you must go and do some volunteer working at the mustard tree. Now, at that time, that was probably the last thing I wanted to do, just to see people and interact and pretend that I was able to give, because I felt pretty worthless anyway. Um, however, she said to me, right, if you don't go, it's part of your plan, you get a written warning, three written warnings, and you're back out on the street. So, the option was simple really, so I came to the mustard tree kicking and screaming. Um, but within, well, upon landing really and meeting the people, I felt this massive weight was lifted because I could I could instantly see that there were people <coughs> milling around that were in various states of recovery from various issues, and there's always somebody that was sort of in the same boat as you. So the Freedom Project uh, here at the Mustard Tree, it's uh, a 16 week project um, and when you come it's set up to, to try and help people back into, specifically back into work uh, and also back into society and so there's various courses that are available and uh, I've been on numerous courses while I've been on this, there's health and safety courses, there's anger management, there's conflict resolution, there's IT courses, it's pretty endless really, the, the opportunities. So I've then been given the opportunity to paint again, so I've been given this little space which was a, it was a bit of a hovel to be honest, but it was amazing because I was painting again. I also get the opportunity to provide the service to other service users and volunteers uh, in the arts to, to express themselves. I wouldn't class myself as a teacher, it's more of, of a facilitator. Um, but I, through the mustard tree I've also worked at the Manchester Royal Infirmary with people with uh, Alzheimer's and dementia, which was amazing. Uh, I've just been to, not long ago, been to Mexico um, and working with young people from real poverty backgrounds uh, doing art, which was amazing. Um, and so there's loads of opportunities that I personally I've gotten from being part of the mustard tree. Now, as a person, I feel part of a community and I feel that I can interact with people on all walks of life. So as far as um, my recovery goes, being part of the mustard tree, it's helped in so many ways. Um,
Firstly, is to be part of a community that feel as though they care. And because my the previous communities, it's all been a bit dog eat dog, and uh, I've never I've never actually been surrounded by people that genuinely care. Uh, as far as apart from the odd friend, but and so you're in a place where you can develop as a person. I can develop in the right way with um, the right attitude. Um, and so it's helped me emotionally in that way and spiritually in the same way. The fact that I now can see a future um, due to the support of Dawson Tree, I can see a future whereas uh, a year ago and 18 months I really couldn't see myself having a future at all. And so, in that sense, I own a mustard tree, my future. Mm -hmm.